Today, I'm going to show you some of the things that I do to sell properties fast. And spoiler alert, I will not be using one of these. When I put a property up for sale, my goal is to make it as clear as possible to a potential buyer exactly what that property is without them having to do any work. Listing photos should be done by a professional. Yes, we can take pictures with our phone and a lot of people do, but it does not do any property justice. When presenting photos, they are always in landscape mode. Landscape, portrait. Because when someone's looking at the property online, they, the photo will fill their screen. If it's up and down, it fills a part of the screen. It looks terrible. I hate scrolling through photos and seeing half the screen black. Let's use the whole screen so people can see the room. Professional photographers will take interior real estate photos with a wide angle lens, and then they edit them in a way to where you can see the inside of a room and through the window. These are things that, to my knowledge, cannot be done on a phone. Here is a photo of a room taken with an iPhone and then another photo of the same room taken with a professional camera wide angle lens and layered to see out the window. The order of photos is actually really important. You'd be surprised of how many listings I see where I scroll through the photos and one photo is of the bathroom, one photo is of the front room, one photo is of the kitchen. It has no flow to it whatsoever. So when I put a listing up, I put it from the front door and it flows through the house. So if you're clicking just through the house, you can actually get a sense of the flow of the house. When photos are out of order, it makes it work for a buyer to understand what the house is. And there's so many homes for sale, even if the house is perfect for the person scrolling through the photos, if it's too much work, they might just skip it and go to the next house. Okay, we have to talk about bathroom photos. Bathroom photos! For some reason, there, there are a lot of agents that do this, there are a lot of for sale by owners that do this, no professional photographers do this. When you take a picture of a bathroom and you are in the mirror, there is absolutely no excuse for this. There is an angle that you can take a photo of a mirror where you're not in it. Let's just do that. If I'm a buyer, I wanna see the bathroom, not you in the mirror. Photo angles. Buyers wanna see entire rooms, not corners. So when you're taking a photo of a room, you want it, like we said, landscape, but you also want wide angle. So the photographers that I'll use use wide angle lenses. And the reason for this is you can see more in one photo in a wide angle lens than a normal lens. So when you're picking an angle of a room, I will show the entire room and not a corner. When I scroll through photos and I see a, a photo of a corner of a room, I think this corner could be anywhere in the world. Filters. When someone's looking at a house, they don't want to love the house online and then get to the house and be like, ew, this isn't the house I was looking at. So we don't use filters. No one should be using that. We want the property to present online as it does if you were standing in the room. <laughs> virtual tours. First, I'm gonna show you what a lot of people show as a virtual tour. They'll have it on, on MLS, on Zillow, where you click it and it says virtual tour. And it's just something like this. <laughs> Is it over? That is not a virtual tour. That's a slow slideshow of the photos I've already seen put to classical music. A real virtual tour is something that a buyer can look at on their computer or phone and walk through the house at their own pace. They can scroll around, they can go up and down, they can move it with their, with their cursor or their finger, and they can get a, a sense of actually being in the house. A virtual tour is where the buyer can walk around the house at their own pace, not a slow slideshow of the photos they've already seen. This is a virtual tour. Good virtual tours like this also cut down on the number of people who go and see a house. So if a seller is living in a house, it's pretty inconvenient to have people come through and tour it all the time. Obviously, you want buyers to come and you're not gonna say no to a showing, but if someone gets to a house and they don't like it, it's kind of a waste of everyone's time involved. If someone can walk through the house in a virtual tour, and they go and see the house, it's exactly as they saw it on their phone or computer, they're more likely to buy it because they've already been there, they've already seen it. They're not gonna get there and walk around and be like, oh, this isn't like the photos. One of the biggest complaints of buyers when I show them properties is this isn't what it looks like online. So a virtual tour gives them exactly what it looks like in person, online, before they get there. 
Photo size matters. Buyers scroll through property photos very quickly. When photo sizes are all different, it looks like this. It makes it harder for the buyer to see the house. Remember, we want it to be as easy as possible. When the photos are all the same size, they look like this. I wish that I didn't see this very often, but I'll see photos where the photo is sideways, upside down, or backwards. You don't want the buyer to have to go like this to see the living room. Drone shot. This one's pretty self-explanatory and probably the most fun of doing a listing is drone shots of it. Drone shots let you see around a property better than anything else. I just try not to overuse them. So that's it for now. Those are a couple things that I do that sell properties fast. Thanks for watching.